Okay, guess what time it is, everybody? Guess, guess, guess what time it is? Guess, you'll never guess. It's Cataclysm time. Friday, 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 Friday. Um, howdy. What's up? Time to die to wasps. <laughs> that uh, very well could be. It could be. It could happen. Just dial them back a little bit, please. Just a little bit. I <laughs> just can't imagine how that got through the way it did. <laughs> such a stupendously dangerous uh, thing in such huge quantities spread all over the map on day one. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. Uh, yeah. So, we'll just hang out for a little bit. Let some folks show up. I gotta reorient my brain off of uh, Project Zomboid mode back over into Cataclysm mode. Oh, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun keeping uh, keeping those two straight. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have so many bad habits in one that'll gonna carry over to the other and get me killed. That's all right. I don't mind. Good thing I've got, uh, you know, rhinoceros hide in regards to getting killed in a zombie game at this point. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alright, looks like Unders tested the, the things. The, the things are working. I think everything else is going fine. Uh, yep, the stream is live. The voice is voicing. The, the meters are bouncing. Yeah, I think we're good to go. And we're just at the top of the hour now, so we'll we'll hang out just a little bit longer. And I'll launch into the normal things. So uh, I'll talk about other generic stuff, I guess. Uh, we are on the most recent experimental. Didn't notice any major tectonic shifts. There was something I looked at. What did they do? They, uh... Oh, they did something to fix the shakes problem that I encountered in, uh... In the last series. <laughs> our, our drunk, angry lumberjack who had the permanent shakes no matter what I did with him. They, uh, they, they finally fixed that somewhat. Uh, but yeah, we're up to date to the most recent experimental. There have been updates to the, uh, the graphics. Actually, I'll, I'll talk about that when everybody's here. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Go away, pop-up message. Damn it, I'm gaming here. All right, it's so rude to have those pop-ups while I'm gaming. Man, Nightbot's just kicking in with all of the all of the things. <clears throat> How goes the collection of books? Ah, I don't know. I think I got a small handful. <laughs> it's only uh, 10.53 of the first day, so we're not even two hour, or three hours in. <laughs> we're still in uh, I'm infected status. So I, I don't get much useful stuff done until I see if I survive the infection. It's all a waste of time if I, if I don't. So yeah... Just wait till you survive for a long time and Project Zomboid farming is mandatory. I'm okay. You guys don't understand. I am perfectly fine with farming. I do it in all the other games. Farming's great when it has a point. <laughs> I'm not anti-farming. I'm anti-farming when it's useless busy work <laughs> that has no function. That, that's when I'm anti-farming. So, yeah. I'm perfectly okay with farming otherwise. I just don't want to do it if I don't have to. <laughs> or if there's no real benefit to me. Yes! We're gonna we're gonna visit a refugee center. That's what we're gonna do. Hey there, Shoyer, thanks very much for the sub. One step closer to our goal in our new zombie dog emote. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. It's not a fun joke. It's you're pigeonholing me. You're 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 you're, you're saying things about me that are untrue. 
slander. It's 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 farm slander. I'm being farming slanderized, zombie dog. Yes, I see you there. Hard to miss you when you're breathing right on my elbow. <laughs> Oh, there goes Feed the Beast already. All right, good. We'll get that out of the way before we kick things off. Uh, come here. Come here, you hound. Come here, you beast. Oh, forgot to press this other button. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You're so weird. You're so weird. You are a weirdo. Alright, there you go. Now you can wander off and sit next to the fan again. Okay. So we got Zombie Dog taken care of. Let's go ahead and uh, start kicking things off. The Feed the Beast is done. <clears throat> yeah, I did get quite a few references to farming during the uh, <laughs> the Vintage Story series. Okay, so let's bring the character sheet back up. So, um, hey everybody, welcome. Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, I'm Vormithrax. Hello YouTube in the future. <laughs> uh, this is Barney the Third. Yes, the Third. Uh, our, our trucker, our, 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 our mobile, our bookmobile driver. And uh, we are doing an infected series, so of course we're trying to get rid of the torso infection this time. We have taken an antibiotic. We did find an antibiotic towards the end of uh, last episode. So we're now in the uh, the, the stage where we, we just wait it out. <laughs> There's no, no real benefit for me to continue driving around. We're going to be in permanent exhausted mode. And it's more likely I will kill myself trying to get better drugs than just just waiting it out. So we're just gonna we're gonna cop a squat right here in this light industry, uh, assuming I have enough food and water. I think there were some more vending machine. I don't remember. Did I pick it all up? We'll go look. Uh, but we got a little bit of food and water tucked into our storage containers in the back of the truck, um, and we've got a decent supply of the mid-level antibiotic, the normal antibiotic, not unfortunately the strong one. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just going to keep going. So we're just going to wait it out, see if we die. If we do, we'll start another one. If we don't, then uh, we'll be able to continue with the actual challenge, as usual, when we do an infected start. Uh, other than that, we're in okay shape. I didn't. I noticed my, 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 my temperature's a little wonky. It seems a little cool, a little chilly. I don't remember ditching much. Uh, we got pants. We got... Uh, I have no jacket. Did I get my jacket stripped off of me? That's why we're so cold. I have no jacket. All right. Well, we'll we'll see if we can find something, but um, it'll be okay. The uh, the blanket will keep us warm while we sleep, so that's the major thing I need to keep an eye on. Um, and I'm not sure why it's negative forty on our mouth. That's we never have anything on the mouth, and I don't usually see it nearly that low. So I'm not sure. It's probably a symptom of maybe exhausted is affecting us a bit, or something's affecting us. I believe. Um, so yeah, so we gotta get that taken care of. So I'll mention it again. I'm not a fan of the level of fatigue that has been incorporated into the infected starts. I think it's dialed quite a bit too far in the goddamn this is ridiculous direction. So I wish they would uh, turn that dial back a little bit. Uh, going from start to being exhausted in two hours of game time. It's just an extreme, extreme, extreme change in how it used to be. And I think it's beyond any rationality <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm that's my opinion i'm sticking to it please dial it back it's uh it's silly all right so but we're, we're dealing with it so we've got uh, what we need to, to wait it out um we are exhausted already so we basically just need to to sit so let's make a few preparation things get things rolling nice and early so i need to put the blanket and the pillow in the back We'll put it right there uh, where the bed is. All right, so we got the blanket and the pillow in. Uh, let's go double check our info or, or my, my remembering on the... Nope, we actually did pick it all up. Empty and... All right, we got some soda over here. 
five energy drinks. <laughs> That'll get us through the infection. Five energy drinks. I'll wait until I uh, exhaust what we've got in the vehicle already. I think I've got like 12 or 14 bottles. Um, plus, we've got the kitchen right here. If we if we desperately need it, we can, uh, we can use it. We've also got... Uh, I know I've got... Not a hot plate, a mess kit. I've got a mess kit with some battery charge, so we can boil water if we need to. I should get some water boiling before we get too exhausted, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope and pray we uh, we get stuff done a little quicker this time in regards to the infection than we usually do. And I don't think I have any 60 liter tanks. I might be able to get some out of uh, some of this machinery. I don't, I don't have a hacksaw, right? I don't think I have a hacksaw. We have the wrench, we have the multi-tool, and we have the ice axe. I'm pretty sure the multi-tool... It does have one metal sawing. Is that enough? I don't remember if hacksaw is... Hmm. Hey, you. You actually do have gas? Look at that. Look at all that gas for our jackhammer. Uh, did I get a... I also don't think I grabbed a rubber hose from anywhere. I really just want to go sleep, but... Come here, rubber hose. Okay, we got the rubber hose. Let's, uh, let's do an experiment. So I want to siphon from here, fill the available tank right there. Love that we can finally siphon within the same tanks in a vehicle. <laughs> so so much help, more helpful. Actually, I want to go the other direction. I want to want to pull the tank that's yeah. This isn't leaking, and the vehicle's not going anywhere. So I'd rather that hold the gas, and I'll rip this one out if it'll let me. Uh, so where is that tank? And are you going to let me rip you out? Right there. Remove. Yep. Oh, it's a bolt turning? Really? Why did I think it was hacksaw? It's bolt turning. <laughs> it's not, it's not hacksaw. So yeah, I can take it out. Um, do so. Let's actually make sure we secure water supply. So, there's been uh, some big updates for the graphics, as you can see. The uh, the Ultica, Ultimate <clears throat> uh, Tile Set. So, it's looking good. I like it. It's really easy now to distinguish between the terrain types, which is always very important for me. Um, so, you can see difference between... This is 100 move cost. This is 150 move cost. This darker patch is 250 move cost. So it's easy to see the uh, the movement cost difference between the train types as you're trudging through the woods. Uh, pour into container, metal tank. Okay, we have water. I'm not actually going to uh, try to... Whoa. Uh, we're not going to boil any of it right now, but we've got it available if we need it. Okay. Um... Anything else we need to do? Oh, I should probably relocate some of this stuff. Uh, give me... Hmm... None of those? Give me the mess kit. Give me the pot, the smart lamp. Taylor's kits. And, oh, of course the bacon. All right, we'll just take a random assortment of all this stuff, as well as all the water. Oh, I really don't have many, uh, many books. Ouch. That's not great. Did I finish looking through all of the, um... All of the building stuff? There to there on the ground, please. And then there on the ground to there in the back of the vehicle. Actually, we'll put it in the front of the vehicle. Nah, we'll put it in the back of the vehicle.
All right, so we've got right there a box that we can store stuff in as well as there. We've got an enclosed sleeping area. We can just hang out in here while we uh, we wait out our negative effects. Uh, I don't remember if I... I really should not be just running around. I don't remember if I actually checked carefully for all of the... Uh, the desks for books. I think I did? There just wasn't much here. How to succeed in business. Principles of communication. Yeah, I think I did go through it. There just wasn't much here to learn from. Canadian whiskey in a briefcase. Exciting. Uh, which book is this? And Loader's Helper. All right, we'll take that one. So many things I'm going to miss because I don't recognize the graphics. <laughs> so if you're wondering, and somebody's probably mentioned in chat, uh, we are moving away from the Undead People tile set. It is time. Time to move along. So I am currently using Chibi Ultica. It's kind of a, a mish, mix match of uh, the Ultica terrain. So the buildings and uh, vehicles and ground and grass and trees. But it uses, uh, I believe, the MSX um characters and monsters so I'll, I'll be able to mostly recognize the enemies i just I, i'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around the uh ultica uh character models uh, i just i really am not enjoying that art style for the character models and the lack of definition it feels like at the size that they make them um so i'm gonna go currently for a while with the chibi ultica but um some other ones i'm pondering are uh uh, whichever of these. <laughs> I keep forgetting which one I should be looking at. Um, and uh, definitely not Retro Days. And then the full Ultica. So one of those. We're, we're going to go with one of those. But I, I'm going to stick with Chibi for a little while. Yeah, as described in chat. <laughs> Chibi Ultica is built into the game, yes. And it is being actively updated. So, as long as uh, MSX are being updated and as long as Ultica is being updated, this basically just yanks from each of those two to create a combined one. Just pulling the, uh, the character and monster graphics from the one and the world and terrain graphics from the other. Do you have a potato computer to toss it like this, take away from processing power? I believe it can. I don't know what to, to what extent you might encounter a problem, though. You're probably going to have a bigger issue because of the Z levels being on all the time. That, that by far, I think, has been the largest contributor to uh, lag and or potatoes getting burnt. <laughs> Is the uh, forced Z levels always on change. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've never done them. I don't have anything to test on to try to figure out just how big of an impact hit it is. And it's going to be very situational depending on the computer. <clears throat> okay. Uh, back to business. So, uh, let's see. Anything else I need to take care of? I just need to make sure I stay warm. See, all of a sudden we're back down a few degrees, so yay. We're not hungry or thirsty at the moment. I just need to go to sleep, really, and just wait out this uh, this death timer. See if it uh, if it gets us. And I, I don't know why, but we've hit what two two different light industries that have had zero enemies. They're they're supposed to have I don't know on base default twenty or thirty or so enemies of a pretty random mix. And um, so far, last episode and this episode, we've seen zero. So I don't know if somebody went back and threw a switch or if I've had some really weird map gen or what. But these have been completely empty. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Hey there, Kizumuki. Welcome, welcome. 
Okay, let's uh, let's just go to sleep. So I am standing on top of a blanket and a pillow. So we'll be able to get to sleep, no problem. The blanket's going to auto-regulate our warmth. If you're new to Cataclysm, uh, you want to be very careful. Anytime you have damage to a limb, be aware that your cold ratings or your temperature ratings, clothing that would normally keep you within comfortable ranges, may not do so if you have a lot of damage to the limb. So where it says, like, minus 29 for the head... If I had taken a ton of head damage and had one bar left, instead of minus 29, this might say minus 39. The effect of that is, if I went to sleep without a blanket underneath me to auto-regulate my temperature while I sleep, then cold frostbite could set in and actually kill me while I sleep. I would take damage to my head and actually die in my sleep to cold damage. And or broken limbs and so on can occur. So just be very, very cautious. Uh, we don't have that problem in this case, but it's just better to always be in a habit of sleeping on top of a blanket. Don't wear the blanket, just put it on the ground, or on the bed, or wherever, and uh, sleep on top of it, and it'll auto-regulate. Okay, so, we're just gonna go to sleep. There's nothing else really to do right now. So, uh, very dark, I don't think... Oh crap, was there a dog or something in the area? Turkeys, crows... I don't have... I don't have earplugs, right? I don't want to get woken up constantly by these stupid birds. Shall we makeshift crowbar some turkeys? Run them, run them out of the area? What the? <laughs> uh, turkeys learned how to teleport. <laughs> Did the turkey... What, what the hell? There's no corpse. It's not like he died on the brambles or anything. Is it? Is it just me? <laughs> wasn't, wasn't there a turkey here? Uh, I didn't see him go running across the pavement. Uh. <laughs> okay. I guess I don't need to worry about that turkey. Hmm. Maybe I... I don't know. Did I collapse? I don't think so. I can usually tell when that happens. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Just, that was weird. Alright, if they wake me up, they wake me up. Whatever. So, we took our first dose of antibiotics for right about exactly 9 o'clock. So, I want to make sure I take another dose. Um, I don't want to oversleep past my dosage time, basically. I want to make sure we stay covered. So, that means I need to set an alarm if I can. Do I have an alarm option? I do. Cool. All right. So we're going to set the alarm for what? Eight hours? Uh, 2100. Let's go. Let's go seven hours. Make sure we wake up an hour earlier than an uh, hour and a half or so. Uh, so there we go. Look at that time fly by. Love it. Love it. Hungry. Very thirsty. See, we're, we're actually getting more tired. <laughs> well, I guess dead tired is better than exhausted. We're going the right direction. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Seven hours of sleep, and we went from exhausted to dead tired. This is my main issue with this mechanic and the fatigue level. You can't recover. You have two hours to solve your, your infection problem. Because after that, you just you can't get ahead of it. It's impossible to get ahead of it. As long as you're still infected, you're going to at most move up one category of tiredness. But five minutes from now, when I'm walking around, I'm going to be back to exhausted again. That's my, that's my main issue, is that the fatigue generation is so extreme that even full-on sleep can't recover from it. So you, you don't get another opportunity to actually go out and solve your infection problem. So I'm not a fan. Not a fan. It's just dialed too high. They need to dial that damn thing back a bit. Okay. Um, let's see. So we're dead tired. We're still infected. Seven hours have gone by. Infection's still raging. Go ahead and take our next dose. So it's uh, 2012, so 8 o'clock. Uh, yeah, let's take our next dose. Antibiotics in our system. And we'll go ahead and have something to drink. Let's have some cranberry juice and some water. Still very thirsty. All right, yeah, we're definitely going to have to boil up some water. This is going to... We're going to go through a lot. I can't even get back from... <laughs> All right, we're going to have to wait a bit and drink some more before I go to sleep again. 
And like like I said, <laughs> back to exhausted. Uh, almost immediately. You just can't get ahead of it. It's so ridiculous. Not a fan. All right, we are turgid. Um, I'm not too worried about calories, but we'll we'll have some bacon. That'll go down well in our exhausted, uh, feverish, infected state, I'm sure. Okay, time for more sleep. So basically, we just sleep until we either recover or we're dead. That's that's where we're at. That's my choices. Uh, so back to sleep we go. I again don't want to oversleep, uh, but we got like a 12 hours, 11 hours. Let's go ahead and set for nine. You'll see here, you fall asleep, you snuggled in the blanket to keep warm. That's that auto temp regulation I was talking about. All right, still infected. Uh, we've got, what, a little over an hour before the next next dose? Hmm. Dead tired. Thirsty again. I don't have a good container to uh, hold liquids in. I'll have to uh, put them into bottles as I empty them. Currently, anyway. And we're back to exhausted. So, like I said, it's ridiculous. It is very bad. Um... Time is it? 7.16. Bill got the... Took antibiotics. We've moved into the next stage of infection. The longer we're infected, the longer the recovery process is going to be. Let's wait a little longer. I'll try to use 8 to 8 as my, my timing. Alright, new antibiotics. So we, we haven't let it slip Look at this. <laughs> I'm chilly. Uh, get all exhausted. All right, so there's a fresh antibiotics, and uh, back to sleep we go. It's just nonstop sleep till you die, or you 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 just five. So, oh crap! I should have uh, I should have set a timer. <laughs> my bad. Exhausted. We might go past my timer. Uh, we're going. Well, we didn't go past it. Cool. Still, still infected. Badly infected still. See, this is some riveting, riveting gameplay here. It's my other issue with the infection system. It's just, it's boring, and it's anticlimactic, and it's kind of enraging when you take the drugs an hour in, and you still have a very high percentage chance of just dying, and there's nothing you can do about it. The only other thing I could probably do to improve my situation would be to get gamma globulin shot to shoot my health, health stat high, but that's very temporary, and... Uh, it's also just as rare as the damn strong antibiotics, so you're more likely to die trying to get to it than you are just waiting it out, but not by much. Auto dock would be the other option, but I got no towns anywhere near that I have any chance or realistic chance of reaching. I can't get further into this one because it's all residential, locked up. I'd have to go way around to try to get to something, and I'd be doing it while exhausted and dead tired at 50% movement speed. So, yeah, yeah, not a fan. Uh, let's have some more drink. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I'm going to need to, uh, yeah, we're going to need to boil some stuff up. All right, let's do, uh, let's do the boiling before the sun goes down. One, two, three, four. We're good. Uh-oh, the turkey's back. He's going to come into the vehicle with me. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some water going. Clean water, please. Let's see. I don't know how many bottles I have available. Let's do uh, at least six or so. Let's do 14. Um, Start my inventory. Yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting that. Burn inventory, please. Ten plastic bottles. Okay, we're good to go. Uh-oh. 
It took me longer than I thought. There we go. We had a slight period of time where I did not have antibiotics in my system. So next up uh, is pustules. We're gonna be we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be in bad shape here real quick. Anything else I can do? Pretty much no. So we've had uh, almost a day and a half of being infected now. And let's do the nine hour thing again. Still infected. <laughs> Pus filled. All right. Death is near. Death is near. Not a goddamn thing I can do about it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so annoying. Am I puking? Am I puking up my water? Uh, it doesn't say so. Okay. Uh, so we just took some more. We are pus filled. <laughs> I love the pus filled. I don't think I have enough. I don't have any strong painkiller. I got aspirin. It's a little hard to go out on aspirin. <laughs> I got no morphine or any other fun stuff. Yep, yep, yep. This is just riveting gameplay here. Just exciting, exciting, riveting gameplay. Take drugs, wait three days for death. <laughs> I no longer feel nauseous. Then I do again. Hey, look, we're still infected, still pus filled. Any time now, I'm just going to keep slamming down the antibiotics, drinking water and going to sleep. All right, I foresee a restart here pretty quick. Um, yeah, still, still nothing I can really do. Here, we'll take a double dose because we're going to die with extra. I think we're going to die in our sleep. We're, we're, we're about due for death. Day 63. I don't usually make it three days in. So we should die either this sleep or by the next one at the absolute latest. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, still pus filled. <laughs> still have our took antibiotic. Uh, I'm out of I'm out of drinks again. And it's midnight. Um, hmm. Hmm. I grab all the drinks I had back here. Oh, my energy drink. <laughs> that only gives 15 quench. Sports drink. That'll do it. There we go. Still very thirsty. Whatever. Time to die. Come on. Kill me. Kill me. So I can grind and complain about this stupid infection system yet again. <laughs> How did I wake up again? Uh... Hmm, not sure how I managed it. We're on uh, full, well, we're three days and two hours in. Antibiotics completely. Oops, water, oops. What do you mean no? Oh, I got the door closed. Open door, please. <laughs> water. Oh, just do eight. Die while we're boiling water. Um, exhausted, dehydrated. Oh, I fell asleep while I was boiling my water. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna dehydrate to death because I won't be able to get the water boiled in time. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I I don't want to do any of these. I want to drink the water. I'm not sure I can even drink. I can boil fast enough to stay ahead of the dehydration. 
Yeah, <laughs> stomach is full, but I'm still dehydrated. Yeah, good times, good times. Um, yeah, frankly, I'm I'm amazed we're not dead already, but I guess I'll try to do some more while we've got the the light. Hey, we managed to get not dehydrated. Uh, one more. And we're dead. My favorite, favorite, favoritest, favoritest mechanic. It's such an affirming death. I always feel just so full of, full of uh, confidence for the future. <laughs> when I suffer this uh, stupid, ignominious infection death. Get the meds by a miracle. Take the meds. Die anyway, four days later. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 rage inducing. It's it's just bad gameplay. It's just bad gameplay. Why extend it out like this? I mean, just kill me in day one. Turn in, turn the infection thing back to an instant. Even better. Make it an instant check and then it either cures it or it doesn't, but then you still suffer negative effects for a while. Something like that. But don't make me waste literally half an hour, an hour of my real world life waiting for the death <laughs> that's going to happen. I just hate that. I hate it so much. Okay, Barney. We had a pretty good start there. You are now done. Nothing I could have done. Literally, the only thing I could have done was put myself in even more risk trying to go get the uh, strong antibiotic. At uh, Especially when you're playing on world settings like mine where it's half item drops and things like that. Um, the chances of me getting a hold of those antibiotics are, are half of what they are in a normal game world. And uh, trying to find an auto dock in this kind of a world as well with advanced evolution is just stupid, stupid hard. So, okay, yeah, it's a great start to the evening. Get me all angered again at the infection system. <laughs> but Vorm, why do you keep playing infection starts? Because if I don't complain about it and demonstrate it to enough people, I don't get the point across. <laughs> That's why. Uh, preset character, bookmobile. I like challenge. I like the immediacy of the infection start. I just violently disagree with the way they've got it implemented currently. The combination of that, uh, that ridiculous fatigue level, handicapping you down to solve it in two hours or you're done. Um, I, I mean, it's just, it's just bad. That plus, of course, the, the coin flips for whether you're, you're going to survive the infection even when you do find the meds. Just not fun. I wouldn't mind if it didn't waste so much of my time. If it was going to kill me and it just, I took the drugs, it said failed, and I, I died, great. Kill me instantly. <laughs> Don't make me sit here and uh, struggle and claw and struggle and claw my way to getting all the food and water and, and so on and then just kill me anyway an hour later. That's all I ask. <clears throat> all right. Hey, Barney. Uh, Barney the fourth. Barney fourth. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to change anything. Uh, it's not really anything I can change that's going to make any difference in the character gen, at least. Um, I mean, the last couple of infection challenges I did, I managed to to beat it. So, I mean, it's not guaranteed death. It's just the, the percentages. I, I, I feel like it's about a 50-50 flip. I don't have a huge number of uh, sample <laughs> samples to draw from for that estimate. But it feels like, from my experience, the number of times I've gone through this annoying situation, that it's about 50-50, it seems, with regular antibiotics. That's the other thing I don't like. It's... Low-level antibiotics, might as well not bother. It's medium-level antibiotics, 50-50 coin flip, and it's strong antibiotics, absolute guaranteed lock, you will cure it within a couple of hours. It'll be like you never even started with it. The, the variance between the effectiveness of the meds is just massive, so I don't understand why we've got that, that, that type of a variance. we got three choices, and uh, they're just, just huge, and there's really nothing else you can do, so... Yeah, I'll keep playing it. I'll keep complaining about it. Somebody hopefully someday will uh, 
will take pity on uh, us poor folks that like to play these harder scenarios and bring some kind of reasonableness back to the numbers. It's it's just lazy difficulty. That's what it is. It's lazy difficulty. It's it's difficulty done the lazy way. <laughs> They can, they can point at it and say, ooh, it costs a bunch of points because it's hard. No, it's not fucking hard. It's fucking random. <laughs> I hate random. So, to that degree. I hate random to that degree. When applied in that method. It's not a fun kind of uh, difficulty. Or a difficult kind of difficulty. It's just a lottery difficulty. I hate lottery difficulty. That's what I hate. Not that you haven't heard all this before, all you regulars. Uh, uh oh. Did it put me back? It did. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Where am I? I'm in a zoo. No, I don't want to be in a zoo. That's not the start I wanted. <laughs> hey, Barney the Fourth. Goodbye, Barney the Fourth. We're going to resurrect Barney the Fourth. Go away, stupid screens. World, bookmobile, reset world. I got a ranting and I forgot to pick my starting location. <laughs> Yeah, that was the zoo. Didn't recognize it at first. All right. This time we'll pick the correct one. I want my zoo gift shop. Now we'll jump in. Well, hey there, buddy. This, God damn it. Did I pick zoo gift shop or did I pick a uh, golf course? <laughs> what, am, what am I doing here? Oh man. Uh, brain fart. That was a stinky one. Let's try this again. I did pick the zoo one. <laughs> I, I did accidentally pick that. All right, clubhouse. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Looks better. Oh my goodness, we got an update to the golf bag. Look at that, fancy. That's much easier to distinguish. Okay, how about the gloves? We got. Uh, we do have fitted gloves. I want the fitted gloves. Only the one, only the one golf bag. And I don't have any ID cards. What do you got there, a makeshift glaive? What you rocking? It is a makeshift glaive, look at that. You're all fancy. Hmm, <laughs> potato chips and root beer. What you got, golf cap. All right, I'm not gonna bother going upstairs. Damn, grasshoppers are freaking me out still. Whoa! <laughs> I'm being trolled. I'm being trolled. <laughs> hey, look. It's the new Transcoast Logistics Facility. Oh, that reminds me. Spawn, spawn. Logistics. Oh, that wasn't it. Uh, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, what was the item called? What's that card called? I always forget the word. Transport. That's the one. Transport freight employee badge. All right. <laughs> Activate it so it can show me what I already know. We surrounded by cities. Surrounded by cities. Wow. Really? You're gonna show me a military base? There's one. All right, so it does show them. We just got unlucky the last few times, and there weren't any on the map. Now we've got two of them so far, one right adjacent to me, and another one a little ways south. There's another one. We got three of them. So we're not going to focus on those right now. we got to survive the end. Four of them? What the hell? Um... <laughs> All right. We're up to four. Hmm. So, we gotta go out right next to one. I wonder if we're gonna get shot to death by turrets when we try to drive by. That would be fun. 
So Mattel, that's going to have a possible map, but we've already got a map, so I don't particularly care. I'm going to drive right by the Trans Logistics to get past that to head on down to Stoneham and Holbrook. Okay, well, let's go out and check our vehicle. Look at all that gas. Broken security, good engine. That's a drivable truck right there. Perfectly good cube van, just waiting for us. We're sticking with the semi. Um, hmm. I need a whacker. I need a whacker. I keep forgetting to grab a whacker. Alright, we'll take the pipe. Is there, a, is there a refrigerator upstairs? I forget. Beer, brandy, and triple sack. Um, <coughs> glass door fridge. I don't have the tools I would need to take it apart. Yeah, let's not worry about it. We gotta go find uh, more antibiotics. Back on that trail again. So let me go check in with Chad again. Do, 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 do. It's possible I can smash it for the hose, but uh, the vehicle we start with generally has more gas than I'll need. I don't really need the hose until I want uh, like gas for a jackhammer or something like that, so it's not super critical. Alright, let's get moving. Let's find out if we can get past that facility or if we're just going to get shot to death. Hey there, giant rattlesnake. And <laughs> plague of squirrels. <laughs> You're going to force me to get closer to the facility. I don't yet know this facility design, so if you're not aware, this is going to be, this is kind of like a research facility. There's a big lab complex underneath it, and it's the new modular type labs. It's the first uh, iteration of what's going to replace the old style uh, science labs. So brand new. And uh, I know almost nothing about it. So I'm purposely trying to avoid... Ooh, Migo Scout. Hey, Migo Scout. Right in the woods to our left. I haven't gotten shot yet. We had a Migo Scout in the golf course? Interesting. Uh, it's possibly a body site in there, but we're gonna... We're gonna ignore it. So yeah, so I don't know if this thing has turrets on the exterior. I don't know. I mean, should we look? I guess we should look. I don't see any zombies yet. Oh, zombie dog, shriekling. Um, hmm. The big question I want to answer immediately is... Are, uh, uh, oh, crap. We have the same thing with this that we have with the uh, research facility. Actually, it's the same entrance. Pretty close. We got the, uh, the, the the railing, but the vehicles are all perfect condition, which always drove me nuts. Why are the vehicles in perfect condition at the research facility, but nowhere else? So, I mean, we've got a tow truck, we've got all sorts of stuff, and they're going to have lots of gas in them and so on. That always, it, it seems weird. I don't know why. Can the Autodoc cure infections? You sure it can. Autodoc is uh, primed with the strong antibiotic. If you can get to an Autodoc, you're fine. 
because you'll pretty much instantly cure. So yes, auto dock can cure infections. <clears throat> there is no zombie infection versus typical infection in Cat Club Dark Days Ahead. Everything is infested with the blob already. When I die, I will become a zombie, <laughs> regardless of if I get bit or anything. The infections are just real world, normal, dirty wound type infections that you're dealing with. No controls, not going anywhere, but also shouldn't have anything I care about. All right, what are we looking at? So I don't care about, well, I guess I sort of care about the silo. Get a little map view. I don't think it'll reach Holbrook. Is there any way to check if you have fungal infection besides little spore bits around the player? Not without like an auto doc to do a blood check. Auto doc can do a blood check to tell you for sure if you've got a fungal infection. That and you'll get little messages over on the on the log that talk about you, you, you taste mushrooms or something like that. I forget the exact messages. It's been forever since I did an infected uh, fungal infection run. But usually you'll get messages here. I don't think they have anything in the effects section anymore. They've hidden a lot of the medical stuff. They've taken stuff out of the infects section that we used to have that would be the obvious indicator. Uh, yeah, the puking gray stuff is a big indication. Skin irritation, I don't remember the exact message. It might be that you can identify it from the message. There's a lot of things that give skin irritation. They're like parasites and things like that, so... I don't know if that message is particular or not. Hey there, Count Alias, if that is your real name. <clears throat> Woodland White, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> I heard of them. Oh crap, what's going on over here? We got Woodland Whites and we got a dog pack surrounding, uh, I don't know what. What is that one? That is the Bulldog Puppy. I think I remember seeing something about there being new dog breeds. I don't remember if that was just a graphics thing or if that's actually different breeds. But um, we're using the MSX graphics, not the chibi graphics, so I'm not sure which graphics style set I saw the message for. Uh, I think I'm going to forego stopping anywhere near where Woodland Whites are. That's just a good recipe for us to get killed. So, we're going to angle our way. I think what I'll do is I'll come over this way. We'll check here, and I'll just kind of loop around back towards Holbrook and Stoneham, or pick some direction. It's already 8.11. We're already losing time. These random grass patches are a little jarring. Come on, what's at the end of this road? Luna Park. I don't want to go to Luna Park. Oh, there's that fabulous motorcycle again that gets all the love, all the graphic love. <laughs> Somebody really likes their motorcycles that's got the that's on the graphics team. I'm waiting for us to get a vehicle painting mod where we can mix our own paints and put uh, put pictures and all sorts of stuff on our, our, our vehicle paint jobs. Oh, we're heading into ant territory. Also not good. Especially with a big loud semi. There's the ant hill. Uh, I'm not going to go down and check out what's at the end of that road to the south. Not that close to the ant hill. Another thing I really don't want to be messing with. 
Shooting range. No thanks. Not worried about that either. See, that looks pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. It's just the flat ground still looks a little. Eh, it's better, I guess. All right, coming up into the town, Holbrook. So, for folks that have just joined in for this particular stream and didn't catch the earlier ones, the uh, the world settings are on uh, mostly my hard mode settings that I use. I'm flip-flopping back between uh, default worlds and hard mode worlds. Uh, typically, I'll do double zombies, half items. This time, I just went with the same amount of zombies, 1.0 zombies. I'm still on half items. And I also went double speed evolution. The scaling factor typically is 4. Uh, lowering the number makes evolution faster. And then uh, I also built in a 30-day lead time for the Cataclysm. So Cataclysm occurred. I waited 30 more days, then I joined the game. So there's been 30 days of evolution before we even hit in, into the game at double speed. So we've got quite a bit of evolution already occurred. Um, and less items in the world for me to try to find solutions to my problems. So we got a pretty good mix. We're getting some fun stuff right off the gate. Uh, but I didn't want to make the um, the world super saturated like I usually do because of the other things I'm trying to do in this run. Necro Boomers. Hey, Necro Boomer. I, I'm having a hard time getting good map views <laughs> of the areas, though. Uh, I'm not seeing any pharmacies. I'm not seeing any doctor's offices. I'm seeing nothing particularly useful so far. Opportunity to hop into uh, a house. We did. We last time found antibiotics in a house bathroom, so we got kind of lucky in that regard. Let's see if we can get lucky again. Ah, oh, what do we got? They don't see me yet. All right, let's see if we can get into this bathroom or this house. We will uh, lock pick our way in. Some cough syrup and some multivitamins. Leather pants. Ooh, leather pants. How are they doing nowadays for protection? Still 1.5 at 95%. Hmm. We're rocking what? Golf shorts? <laughs> what do we got? Just regular pants. Uh, all right, let's unload the pants and uh, ditch the pants. And wear the leather pants. Ooh, yeah. Computer gaming and nothing else. Ooh, motorcycle helmet. Um, what's the eye coverage and the mouth coverage? Uh, I mean encumbrance. Ooh, 15 on the mouth, 5 on the eyes. No. I'd love to protect my noggin, but right now I'm in avoidance mode. Uh-oh, somebody's in the building. That's not good. They followed me in. Basic tools, please. Uh, fire making. Hmm. I gotta be planning ahead for, uh, when we're gonna turtle up. Really? Not a thing? Well, that's unfortunate. Isn't this the one that usually has the American flag on the table? Yep, American flag. <clears throat> Travel pack, sling pack. Hmm. Uh, it's usually kids in there, right? I think it's usually kids. 